Hello, welcome back to How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. A young lady got in touch with me uh, a couple of days ago and she asked me whether I could do a watercolour for her friend Eric, who unfortunately has had a stroke and is also deaf. So I said I would do this one for him and I, what I will do is I'll put some subtitles in or text on it uh, so that he can follow the instructions. I'm just wetting my paper, so this, is, this was dry paper. And now I'm just wetting the back because I'm stretching it. Turn your paper over, align it on your board where you want it, and wet the front. Removing the excess water from around the edge. Any brush of your choice, cobalt blue. Naples yellow I don't want this to be in like a cornfield at the back here so this is cadmium yellow medium and the whole of the paper is wet remember it will dry lighter Remove any excess paint. Now I'm going to leave this to dry until the shine goes off the paper. I think you can see where the shine is. And when it starts to go dull, we'll put the background trees and hills in. Okay, the shine has disappeared off the paper. I hope you can see that. But the paper is still damp. Mixture of cobalt blue, cadmium yellow medium with some cadmium red. And we'll put these background trees in. I'll just test it for strength. And it's mixed to the bluey green side. Just add a little tiny bit of water, not much. Now we need to leave this to dry for a further five minutes and then we'll put some tree trunks in wetting wet. If we do it now, it will just explode and spread everywhere. So we have to wait. Okay, hopefully that's dried out enough. It's still damp because we're gonna put some tree trunks in. I'm just gonna check to see how far this will spread. This is the same color, cobalt blue, cadmium yellow medium with some cadmium red and I'm using a very fine detail brush taking some of the mixture and putting it along the bottom make it look like a hedge roll Rewet your background hills. I've set the board at a slight angle so it will drift. This is cobalt blue and burnt umber. I just run it along the top of where the hill is and allow it to drift into the water. Now we have to leave this to dry. Once your background hills have dried, with the same mixture of the bluey grey, <coughs> cobalt blue and burnt umber, we're just going to put these tree trunks in. A few branches. <coughs> I'm going to take some of that same colour, move it to a different dish water it down using the side of the brush just 
soften the edge off. I'm just taking some of the cad yellow medium again and I'm just strengthening up this back field. Soften off the edge with a damp brush again. And then with a yellow green, cobalt blue and cad yellow medium, as you can see it's a very pale green. Just along the bottom half of this, just going to stroke some of this in. Relatively weak. Now I'm just going to re-wet the path on the dirt track. This is a mixture of burnt umber, French ultramarine, and I just want to touch that, just <clears throat> bring it into the field gently. This is a darker mixture of the same colour, French ultramarine and burnt umber. Soften the edges. Just re-wetting a bit of the foreground. I have three different shades of green here, <clears throat> made from French Ultramarine Cad Yellow Medium, which is this one. This one as well is the same colour but stronger. And this one is the Camem Yellow Medium with French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. You could use cadmium red to darken it, it's just to flatten it. I want to bring some of this in. Bring it up. Soften it into where the bushes are. Second tone of the green. it together with the path. Right, <clears throat> now we're going to have to leave this to dry. Now that everything's dry, we're going to take some of the yellow green, which is your cobalt blue and your cadmium yellow medium. And this is just a thicker mixture. And we're just going to put the, start to put the outside bits of foliage onto these trees just by using the tip of the brush. And coming back to your other greens, French Ultramarine, Cadmium Yellow, Medium. We can start to put the darker foliage in leaving some of the yellow to show through. Same time, coming into the uh, bushes, the hedgerow, Moving to the stronger mixture of the three greens. This is the middle one. Just beginning to add some shadow on the right hand side. Slowly build your hedgerow up. Taking a damp brush, just soften the bottoms off into the grass. And I'm just taking a rigger brush, French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. And I'll just put some tree trunks in, some branches.
done with a stronger version of that, it almost looks black. Burnt umber French ultramarine. Let's drop some of this in. Now we're just going to have to leave this just to um, dry off a minute or two and then we'll begin to really darken underneath it all. Once the other two layers are dry we move to the really dark green and this is where we can start to put a lot of contrast in. Just on the right hand side. Just touch this in with the end of the tip of the brush. Soften it again. Softening the bottom. This is the French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber once again. Just going to add some up one side of the tree on the right hand side, some on the bottom of the bush, bushes and hedgerows, always darker at the bottom. Just taking my detail brush, bringing some twigs out. Same on this side. I think we'll add a bush here. Maybe this bush has died off. Soften the bottom. Add some to the underside of the foliage in the tree. Some clean water and just re-wet the bottom part of your painting and gently touch the paint underneath the bushes. Taking some of the really dark green, pull it down. Soften any hard edges off. This is the brown mixture, I think it's um, cobalt blue, with some burnt umber. Put the gates in with broken lines. That has to dry a moment. I think what we'll do is, along this track here, we'll put some furrows in, like. Um, you see them after the tractor's been down. Some of the darker mixture. Dark on one side of the fence post where the shadow would be. Just a little shadow here. Soften some of these furrows together. Okay, now we have to leave this to dry. Taking some of the grey mixture and I'm just watering it down. And we're just going to add some shadows. And if you're still following along Eric, this is where you get round to your best bit. This is where you get to sign it, mount it and frame it. 
and I'm going to wish you all the best Eric and I really hope that um, after your stroke that you recover really fast so this one's for Eric and I'd like to thank you all for watching so this is for you Eric I'll give you a thumbs up